Hello and welcome to this video about the Emergence Sample Project. This project is a collection of code examples that make use of the Emergence plugin. It doesn't make use of every feature, so check the documentation for all of our features. The Emergence Sample Project is supplied in our GitHub. You can find our GitHub at github.com forward slash crucible networks ltd forward slash emergence sdk unreal. Here on the right hand side you can see if you click releases, the one at the top which is marked latest, and then go down to assets, you have the source code and you have the Unreal sample project. You can download the zip and extract it anywhere and run the .u project file. The sample project is built for Unreal Engine 4.26, but it will likely convert properly for 4.27 and Unreal Engine 5. Once you've got it open, it is a room that contains a number of samples. Starting from the left, you can see a, a brief explanation of what this is. Opening the overlay, reading and writing to smart contracts, minting an emergence avatar, which is useful for showing off the loading avatars into the game system, which is used here. The inventory service. And an example of how dynamic metadata works. For a number of these examples, you need to have already signed into the overlay to use them. You can sign into the overlay by pressing Z or by using the opening the overlay button. The way that all of these samples are set up is that if you click the button and press edit on the button, it will show you the code for that button. For example, if I want to learn about how to open the overlay, I can click on the open overlay button, press edit open overlay, and you can see inside of here, each one has a on interacted with event. This is the event that's called when you press E in game on that button. One of the features that we're showing off here doesn't actually contain the code inside of the button. That one would be emergence avatars. The code that actually changes the avatar to be that of the current persona takes place inside of the player pawn, which is called third person character. You can find this by either searching third person character or going to Blueprints, Project Settings, Pawn, Third Person Character. All of this code you see in Third Person Character can also be found more properly explained in our Getting VRMs Working in Unreal Engine video, which will be in a card right now. I'll now go through the specifics of each example. So first we have opening the overlay. Uh, this opens the overlay. And as I mentioned earlier, for the majority of these examples, you need to have logged into the overlay at least once in that game session to be able to use the example. So that's opening the overlay, reading and writing to smart contracts, shows you a system for interacting with a very basic smart contract. I go into more detail about how this smart contract works in our tutorial reading and writing to smart contracts, which will be on screen now. But effectively, this is just a, a counter inside of the smart contract that's tied to your wallet address, and, and you can get what the counter is by calling get current count, and you can call, and you can increment the counter by calling increment count. And as I said earlier, you need to have opened the overlay and signed in with Wallet Connect before either of these buttons will do anything. Although it does tell you this if you haven't already. Emergence avatars, this allows you to mint the emergence sample avatar, but this will allow you to just mint that should you want to test the system, which it's showing where your, your in-game model will change to your persona's avatar. We realized that it was unreasonable to ask you to buy an avatar just to test out the system, so here you can just mint one for just the price of gas on Polygon. This is showing an example of how you could create your own inventory in a game made from NFTs. So when you press this button, a UI will come up which contains all of the NFTs in the wallet that you logged in with. The actual UI here is not uh, necessarily a feature of Emergence. It's just showing how you could implement something as part of your game's UI that makes use of Emergence features, if that makes sense. And finally, we have the dynamic metadata example. This one's quite complex. What it does is it uses our NFT picker system to allow you to pick an NFT and then it assigns dynamic metadata to that NFT. And the way this works is it, it, if your NFT doesn't have a number in its metadata, it will just give it the number zero. And the next time you press it, it will give it the number one. So I'll show you that now. So 
I'm opening up my inventory. I'm going to select this pink character here. It's going to tell me all about that um, NFT and the, it's going to output all of that. And you can see the new dynamic metadata is one. And now I'm going to do it again. And now the new dynamic metadata is two. So this is just a very, very, very basic example of showing how our dynamic metadata system works. And uh, if you read through the code, you will get a better understanding of all of the different things you could do with this. These two examples to do with the inventory service will be explained in our inventory service video, which if we've made it yet, will be in a card now. As I said, this is really not all of the features with emergence. It's just the, a very, very basic project that we've created so that you can hopefully get started a little quicker with some of the most basic features. In the future, the sample project may be expanded to include a lot more of our advanced features. To see more of those features, have a look at our documentation. Thank you for watching and have fun creating things with Emergence.